Hello, welcome to this video tutorial from Open Topography. Here I will show you how to create topographic hill shades in QGIS. As a review, topographic hill shades are very powerful approaches to visualizing what a landscape looks like and simulates that landscape from the sunlight shining across the landscape from different azimuths and altitude angles. And it's important to remember the importance of creating and looking at topographic hill shades from different light angles. In particular, here we're looking at a mountain in the southwest of the United States. And here we see how this area looks like and looks very different with hill shade angles, with azimuths varying uh, here from 315, 225, 45, and 135. Again, so when you're making these hill shades, it's important to look at them from different light angles. And right now I'm going to show you three different approaches to making hill shades in QGIS. First is uh, to use a raster to create a hill shade and to save it. Second is to create use raster to create a hill shade to not save it. And then the third is symbology. And these are listed in uh, my uh, personal order of uh, decreasing uh, preference. So I do recommend that you use the raster tool to create and then ultimately save your hill shade. So here we are in QGIS. And I've already loaded this DEM by just taking the file and dropping it in QGIS. And so here we see the digital elevation model with altitudes showing in black from 600 to 750 in white. And again, we do get a pretty good sense of what the landscape looks like, but we really cannot see really the detail that we should for many applications. So to make a hill shade, you can first go to a raster. Uh, analysis, hill shade, and then we have some options here. We have our input layer, which is the DEM, and do check that the DEM is what is is what you're selecting. Um, you don't want to create a hill shade of a hill shade. And here we can see that we are in the coordinate system of EPSG 32612. Uh, for this approach to work, you do need to have your horizontal and vertical um, coordinates in the same units. And I'll have another video looking at when that's not the case. So when they're both in units, we can leave the Z factor as it is. And then we have the options of the azimuth of the light, the default, here is 315 degrees, and that's fine to start, but I do recommend different angles for really visualizing the landscape. Uh, we have 45, we can keep scrolling down, and then here we have Hillshade, so save to temporary file. So that is the default option, but that means that if we were to open QGIS again, our file would not be saved. So we can click these three dots and then say, save to file. So then we'll save to the desktop um, and we'll call it DEM Hillshade 315 degrees. And I do often like to give the name with the, especially the azimuth of the light that I'm using to calculate the hill shade. So you can say save and then run. This is in real time. It's now finished. And so here we have our file DEM hillshade 315 degrees. And here's our hill shade, which does very nicely show what the landscape looks like. All right, so now I'm going to show you approach two, where we still go up here to raster, analysis, hillshade. Here we have input layer. And now because I have the DEM hillshade selected, that is now the default. 
So we want to be sure to change that, put it back at DEM. I can leave all these other options unchanged. And now I'm just not going to save it or save it to a file name. So we're just going to save it to a temporary file and say run. Okay, so now, so here's our Hillshade. It looks the same and it's QGIS has named the layer Hillshade. And in many ways, this, this actually is a good approach if you want to just very quickly see what a Hillshade looks like and you don't anticipate needing to visualize that Hillshade again. But it does not, it's actually not saved now. And one thing you also might want to do is to change the layer name. For example, if you were to make another Hillshade, that Hillshade would also be called Hillshade. And the Hillshades can get confusing. So you could say rename layer name and call it like Hillshade 315. So at least now we have uh, a way to, while we're looking at QGIS now, to recognize what we've calculated. All right, now I'm going to show you the final approach. This is my least favorite, but it does work if you're interested in just very quickly visualizing a hillshade. So we have DEM. So we're going to double click the DEM and we're going to go to symbology here. And then we're going to select hillshade. And here we do have our options of selecting the altitude as well as the azimuth of the light, and we'll keep them as the default. So here's the hillshade, and at this angle, it's perspective, it does look quite good. So again, if you just really want a fast hillshade, this approach is fine, uh, but we're gonna zoom in. And now when we zoom in, we see that we have these box artifacts, that we have these lines, that go north, south, and east, west. And for a lot of ap mapping applications, these boxes would be quite disturbing. And so this is not an ideal approach for visualizing and calculating uh, topographic hillshades when we're looking at a, a fairly detailed scale.